Let's delete this and look at our next ruler, which is the... Oh, I already selected it. The symmetrical ruler. And let's just draw... Hold down our shift button so that it, it'll it work in a... Oh. I believe the initial setting for this is 45. Let's see. So if I hold down shift, it'll let me jump in 45 degree increments. And if you want that different degrees, you can change that step of angle. But uh, right now it's a perfectly straight up and down line. And basically this line of symmetry, which is this line, is going to kind of act like a mirror so that on each side of it that we draw, it's going to reflect that. Oh, I accidentally put it on the paper layer. I'm going to drag it up to this layer. And... Okay, so now when I draw here, it just reflects it across like a mirror. So we call this one line of symmetry. And when I change this to a higher number, for example, it can go up to 16. But let's change it just to like 8 or 7. It's going to basically, no, 8. Let's going to turn this into basically eight different sections in which each of them is going to reflect what's in any of the others. So just to show you what that means, I'm going to use the airbrush actually. And I again put it on the paper layer, drag it up. And whenever I draw in here now, it's going to just bounce it across. And you can create some amazing patterns and things. So I like this tool a lot. So let's delete this layer, and I want to show you something else. With our, uh, Let's set our number of lines down to 2 again, and let's make sure line symmetry is not activated. So if it's checked, uncheck it, and let's put a line down the center and get a pen. Now when I... oops, I did it on the paper layer again. Drag it up. Okay, so now when I draw on this this line of the this side of the paper it's no longer symmetrical but it is i mean it is a kind of symmetry it's just at an angle now instead of the mirror symmetry that we had before it's basically going off that initial point that we put down this is where i started the line so it's it's using that as our center point so this is a slightly different effect and that's done by again by not checking the line symmetry when you make your symmetrical ruler.